Mello is now free to roam, apparently. Uh, oh, okay, if he can't play for the Rockets, why can he play for uh, the Lakers? I know. I, I, I thought, and I was dead wrong on this, I thought he was going to have a career resurgence with the Rockets. I thought it was going to be perfect for him. He, he could, can't play. He didn't have to play defense. He could just cast away threes. Yeah. And if you can play for Houston, if you can't just run to a corner and let <laughs> James Harden hit you on the numbers to shoot, where can you play? I but, mean, where? I don't know. Okay, but if he if the, would he stay with the Bulls? Like, why? Why would no. the Bulls? No, the Bulls are not. No, the Bulls are. Okay. Uh, no, he he will be a free agent. But I'm trying to think like what? Here's a spot. Maybe, maybe, if they want to take a chance. Mm-hmm. A team that is scrambling for the playoffs, that is already in the playoffs, but they need some identity, some guy to come off the bench and just absolutely score, and he can go home. What about Brooklyn? No, I don't want to screw up Brooklyn. I love Brooklyn. Listen, but you do need come playoff time when the game slows down. I know you've got Dinwiddie. I know you've got D'Angelo Russell. Jared Allen is your shot blocker. I get that, but what about a guy that could just, in a half court, Throwing the ball when the game slows down and just gets you buckets. You know what I'm thinking? Mello goes back to Syracuse. <laughs> he's got th- he's got three years of eligibility. <laughs> Same coach. What now? What if Coach Beheim comes out and says, "We don't want him. <laughs> we don't want him." <laughs> Then he's really in trouble. I can't. I can't have him. I can't. He can't play anymore. Brooklyn. No, I love what Brooklyn's Brooklyn. doing. I love what Brooklyn's doing. I love what they're doing. They but play hard, play man. Play. And who has experience on that team? Playoff experience. No Nobody. one. Okay. Melo doesn't least, have that much playoff he experience. He doesn't have that much, but he has a little. <laughs> he doesn't have that much, but he does have a little. Oh. And I'm not telling you you got to play him 30 minutes a game. Yeah. I would say 18 to 22. He's got to, first of all, he should be happy he's back in the league. And he should be happy that he's on a young team that's surging towards the playoffs. Be humble, be happy. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.